Well, when I went to the doctor, um, uh, well, I didn't go to the doctor at that point, but uh, I started having a lot of breakage from my nose, and it was like a fatter had turned off. And it was just constant. And I thought, this is unusual for it to be so much. And then one night I got in the bed and I started wheezing. And at that point, I thought I needed to call my doctor. And I called and they said, he wants you to come in and listen to your lungs. And I, I got up and got dressed and went on in. And when I got there, he said, I want to check you for COVID. Well, I'd had COVID two months before, a year ago this month. And he said, I want to check you for COVID. And then I want to check you and see what other kind of uh, virus you have. And so they did the COVID and I did not have COVID. And he did the other swab. And it, he said, I'll call you in the morning and let you know what it is. And so he called and he said, we have RSV. And I don't want you to go anywhere. I don't want you to invite anybody to your house and do not go around the grandbaby or great grandbaby. And I said, okay. So I took his word for it and um, I started wheezing really bad when I would go to bed. And I thought, you know, this is really making it hard to breathe with all of this wheezing because it was like in and out, no matter if I was breathing in or out. It was squeezing really bad. He ordered sodium chloride four times uh, a day. And I worked it to where it was about every three or four hours. I tried to make sure I got the four hours in because I needed that. And um, so basically that's what I did. I didn't really do anything else except the sodium chloride. I didn't have a sore throat. Uh, I coughed a lot. I mean, a lot. <laughs> when I say a lot, and then you felt like you were going to choke. But there was nothing. He, my doctor said nothing's going to come up. It's inflammation. And um, and that's you know basically that's pretty much what happened. Um, and it was different from the COVID. The COVID, I had a sore throat. I've had bronchitis before. This was different. In bronchitis, you can actually cough something up and get relief. This was just a cough that went nowhere. It was a cough that you had to do, but it was just taking more of your energy, I think. I just could not breathe. I mean, it was smothering. I could not talk on the phone to anybody unless I just stopped and hesitated and take a breath and then talk. And it was, it wore me out to just talk. And he, anything that you had to use your breathing, you know, I mean, it's just not a good thing. Uh, and I didn't go anywhere. I stay home, and uh, and I sure didn't want to give it to anybody. Oh, my energy level—that that's another thing. Uh, I have a wheelchair here that my husband passed away 13 years ago with pulmonary fibrosis, and so I had still had his wheelchair, and I would just get in the wheelchair and wheel myself into the kitchen. And I was so weak that I would have to brace myself to reach up to get a cup out of the cabinet to make my coffee. And I just had to force myself to do anything. I mean, I was so weak. Um, it was unbelievable, I mean, how weak I felt. Um, I luckily have a bed that I can operate up or down or whatever. and have a vibrator on it and I would use the vibrator and uh, I would yeah basically have to tilt up you know where I was sit practically sitting up
anytime you can get a vaccine that is going to help you. I mean, back years ago, we got all of the shots in the, you know, for going to school. And, and we didn't think twice about it. We just got it. And I think if you have a, a vaccine for RSV and you have a little child, I would, I think I would just run as fast as I could and get it. Because it, I mean, I actually, I never really thought a lot about it when I would see on TV that RSV is really bad. And we, adults, people say, I didn't know adults could get it. And I thought, well, I'm here to tell you, they can, and it is very scary. When you cannot breathe, it is very scary. Well, I would want them to know that it is a very serious thing in adults, the same as, as, it, as it is for a baby, and to not overlook that, but really and truly, uh, they need to stay on top of it if they, they know you've got it and lead you through it because it was a new thing to me.